In 1689, England's bloodless revolution reaches its climax when Parliament invites William and Mary to become joint sovereigns. I don't know what that word means. Happy Tuesday, everybody. How's it going for you guys? Do we have mods on? Of course we do. We don't have the debug console. I did check that. Imagine if we did. I actually feel so stupid. <laughs> Alright, we're going to do Kane. And we're going to try not to lose this one in 0.2 seconds like we did that Judas run. But we actually have health this time. We have health. We're only going to Mom. Potential speedrun territory. Do I go for it? I actually don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Honestly, we're going to have to see what's in our first item room. Because I don't mind attempting a speedrun, but I also don't mind uh, going for high score. Both are honestly a little fun to me. I feel like going for a high score is typically more realistic than a speedrun. Because, I don't know, a speedrun... I mean, you saw uh, yesterday's... That's so unfortunate, actually. Uh, you saw yesterday's speedrun went. We, we di went all the way to Satan. I, I actually just couldn't see his footsteps. Like, I don't know if I've ever had that problem before where I just couldn't see it in general. Made me a little sad that we ended that way. But that's why I say uh, going for scores is more realistic. Because we just kind of going to play good. As opposed to playing good and going fast. See, when those two things over intersect, <laughs> whatever you want to call it, that's when things get, you know what, they get just a little bit messy, so what can you expect from me? I don't know, man. Okay, uh, Nod Leaf, Lamau, we don't want that. Well, we don't hate that. Honestly, I shouldn't have picked it up, to be completely honest, if we're going for high score, because we're not going to rely on it, and if we do rely on it, something else is fucked. But I, I, regardless right now, I think I'm going to go for score. If time's also in your favor, then it's also in your favor. I mean, only got hit once, so obviously we're not in, like, the best situation in the entire world. But, I mean, we literally got hit once. I've been hit many times and gotten an okay score, so we're just going to see what happens. If there's a soul heart over here, I will snag it. I would love to have it as well, but unless we get Pageant Boy, we're just not getting that. And who knows, maybe we get Pageant Boy. Hail Mary right there. I didn't really look at the map too hard. Okay. Uh, we tried <laughs> for a secret room. Not surprised. Because, like I said, we look at the map too hard, and there is another tinted rock. I just saw it. If that small rock in, I'll never forgive myself. I'm content with my current spear hearts. And that was bad damage. And we are also getting an orbital, so the Nod Leaf strategy, I mean, it exists. It's on the table. It's going to take a really freaking long time, so we're not going to implement it, however. So it's just like, no, it's a wasted item, to be completely honest. We will take Cuban Meat, even though, you know, with orbitals, I never plan to use orbitals. Here's my take on them. Orbitals, they're a backup plan. If you have to use orbitals, something else is going wrong, or you have Book of Shadows, Unicorn Stump, I guess Nod Leaf. But if you're using Nod Leaf, then you have all the goddamn time in the world, or you're, you're just a real fucking Chad. I don't know. There's only so many <laughs> options you, I can really pick from this. Oh, God. We're getting up all bandages also, but we didn't. Okay. Uh, Find enough start. I'm not too mad about anything there. No, we have Curse of the Unknown. We is it, are we just are we actually just never gonna see our health? Is that a potential uh, daily seed? I don't know. I did use on Q meet there, and it's not always a backup plan. You can use it strategically, uh, in general, which is fine. But if you're relying on it, is what I'm trying to say. Then something's gone wrong. That was unfortunate. <laughs> oh god, man, this might not even be a fucking like good score. This might just be a, a casual run <laughs> at this fucking point. That's all right. Shit happens. I'm not too worried. Okay, that was annoying, however. Now, now I'm worried. Now I am panicked. I'm freaking out. Nah, I was just kidding. So how's your Tuesday going, everybody? Mine is going well. I watched a movie last night. And guess what movie? You have, like, a couple seconds. Did you guess it? It was Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Why did I watch this movie? Because I saw it was on Netflix, and I was like, you know what? I haven't watched this movie since I was, like, 12 or something like that. And so I peeped it. Which one did I watch? Well, I guess I guess one's called Willy Wonka, whatever, and the other one's called Charlie and Chocolate Factory. So yeah, I watched the the remake. I did watch both of them as a kid. Uh, I know I watched the uh, the original after the remake. I watched it in like school or some random shit like that, and I I liked both versions. I don't think I hated either, but I was definitely a bigger fan of the remake as a kid, and it's just the one I watched more. So, I, I, I picked that one, of course, because both are on Netflix. Both are on Netflix. I mean, sure. Let's, let's just have a little bit of fun if we're not getting a fantastic score, you know what I mean? But we're still, we're still trying, to be honest. <laughs> um, hang on. And it's been such a long time since I watched it, so I remembered most things that happened. 
But, uh, there's a lot of things I also forgot. I forgot how many goddamn flashbacks there are in the movie. Like, that movie is actually, like, almost a half of flashbacks of Willy Wonka's past or of the old grandpa's past, which is pretty much tied into Willy Wonka's past as well. <laughs> so, which isn't necessarily bad. But, okay, here's my analysis of Willy Wonka in... Uh, I, and as sure as I can do it, in like one sense or whatever, it, it's the weirdest movie I've ever watched. Maybe. It, it's fucking up there at the very least. I'm trying to think of something comparable, and I'm sure there's something I can't think of right now. But holy shit is this movie so fucking weird at every turn. I like it for that though. I did enjoy the movie. Um, you know, it's a kid's movie, so I typically don't enjoy kid's movies as much as I do not kids movies well it's a movie for the whole family so adults can enjoy it too it's that kind of deal um so if you haven't seen charlie and the chocolate factory there's this kid named charlie he goes to a chocolate factory essentially and it's like a whole it was like a whole contest thing i can't believe that hit me oh god um and essentially all there's there's a, a, there's four douchebag kids and then there's one good one <laughs> And that's the main character. And, and the point is, all these douchebag kids keep getting punished in the chocolate factory. Essentially, that, that's a shortened down version of it. And I will say, I wish there was scenes with these douchebag kids that did not make them seem one-dimensional. All of the kids, even the main character, to be completely honest, uh, he just wasn't one-dimensional in the douchebag sense. He had a little more personality to him, of course, because he spent a lot more time with him. But uh, literally, all of the kids besides the main character you only see them being douchebags they have no other emotion aside from hate they have no other emotion aside from being snarky little assholes that's that's all they are and like, yeah you need to get out of cross for the fucking movie to work but there's like not a scene of like the fucking the badass video game kid like smiling it, like they're they're never nice for one moment like asshole kids in real life They can have fun too because they're never even having fun They all look miserable like almost the entire time when they're in the chocolate factory. It actually Made me a little mad because I'm like no give me a, a another fucking emotion from any of these kids That isn't like fueled by some intention J Just to have them be a kid for literally one second. I fucking dare you <laughs> we should always open red chest last, by the way. Just so we can avoid these. Well, I want the points anyway. So I'm not even mad. But, uh, they, they, did, they just did. Maybe there's some small interaction here and there. But it's 90% them being assholes. And when they're, like, smiling or happy, it's because they got what they wanted. Or they, they had other alternative motives. Like, literally. Kids don't do that 24-7. Make them like a little more than one dimension there. I, I was I was actually kind of annoyed by that to be completely honest um, It was okay. That's the fat one. He eats. He does nothing but think about food. That, that's it Because you can have him have other emotions. Oh interesting. I don't think it's golden You can have them have other emotions, but he still eats all the time. You have the entitled girl who always wants everything she Gets you know she's spoiled as fuck. She can be spoiled and have fun for a second. This girl's always a winner. She can be a winner and also have fun. Like, like, literally. That was annoying. <laughs> but, that didn't ruin the movie for me by any means. Um, the songs, okay, here, here's the thing. If you don't know Oompa Loompas are, I'm sorry, I feel bad for you. Oompa Loompas carry that movie. If there was no Oompa Loompas in Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, I don't think I would have liked the movie. Because I, I think at that point, I still would have liked parts of the movie. But, uh, then the negatives might have started to outweigh the positives. The Oompa Loompa positivity carried the whole fucking thing. I love- so, like I said, this is one of the most weird movies I've ever seen, if not the most. The Oompa Loompas, like, they really make no sense from beginning to end. And I love them for it. And most of the songs are bangers. I don't think there's a song I didn't like. I can't remember all the songs off the top of my head. Augustus Gloop. That's... <laughs> okay, I'm ranting about a movie right now. Ooh, I'll take it. Uh, I, I just realized that... Because, I don't know, I just feel passionate about this right now. I'm just in a passionate mood for Charlie and Chocolate Factory. Please forgive me. Because, like I said, I don't like to always make um, these dailies about just one fucking topic. But I've been struck by some passion. What? Ah, it's in the other room! I didn't even fucking realize, my bad. 
So, um, and TM Trainer, the strategy is all up in the air, by the way. Who knows what's going to happen. I just want to live and get some HP, to be honest. So, um... Yeah, I don't, I don't know, man. The Oompa Loompas are just insane. The Gus's Gloop is the best song I've ever heard in my entire life. Uh, Ch Charlie, no, no, Willy Wonka, he, he's literally such a weirdo. And w what was the reason for him hosting the thing in the beginning? If you didn't know, Willy Wonka hosted the entire, uh, you know, trip to come into the Willy Wonka place. Um, on his own, like, well... And it's kind of clear by the end, but also still too much ambiguity for me to be like, Oh, I, I understand why he did this, because I, I still don't really understand why he did it in the first place. And all the kids were just assholes, and he knew they were assholes. Because he was going to give the... Spoilers. He was going to give the chocolate factory to the uh, one who was the least rotten. He the least rotten. That was his plan going in. They didn't say the nicest. He said the least rotten in his head. He always knew he would hate the majority of these kids. Maybe he just hates kids. I don't know. I don't know. Also, it, it like it's a kids movie, so I'm not really gonna judge it for this too hard. <laughs> but it, after um the first two kids get punished, it's so fucking obvious when the next one's gonna get punished or how. Cause this is how it goes. Okay, Charlie will sh show them. I mean, ugh, God, Willy Wonka will show the kids something cool, some interesting thing about the chocolate, and then one of them will suddenly be outspoken. And the rest will be quiet. And as soon as the one of them is outspoken in any sense. It, it, their, their time's up. It's so fucking obvious after, like, honestly, potentially the first one, but especially the first two. Because, um, after that girl turns into a fucking blueberry. <laughs> um, and then they're at the, this place with all the squirrels, and that uh, little spoiled brat keeps, starts talking. It's like, okay, well, her time's up. I know what's about to happen. <laughs> her time's up. Uh, oh, that's actually not bad. A zero charge fart. I can, I can live with that. I mean, <laughs> I am a zero fart, charge fart myself, <laughs> but that's so bad. Oh, uh, do I have more to say in this movie? Probably. Can I think of it? Not the moment. Give me a second. Give me a second while we sit in silence and I think about stuff to say about Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Oh my god. So, I don't know. Willy Wonka, I, I feel like he was almost too weird. Almost. He, he passed the vibe check enough, but uh, I don't know. At the end of the day... He had a miserable time. Charlie must ah, William Wonka must have had a miserable time because no one understood him, and he antagonized the kids as well by saying "oh, mumbling" and just all these douchebaggery words. Like I don't really care. He, they kids need to be a douchebag too. Someone needed to yell at these kids. But uh, oh god, he egged on a lot of the shit on himself, and he hated the kids. <laughs> so why he fucking do it? Motives still at the end do not seem clear in my opinion. I don't fully understand. And then the ending. And yeah, the ending was fine. I think the ending was actually pretty, pretty good. Where, uh, spoilers. I, I assume you don't care about spoilers if you're here right now, by the way. I'm um, so sorry if you, if you do care. <laughs> but, um, why do I even have Per Throw? I guess if I get an active item. Can I win by, just by farting? Can I win just by farting? I mean, I can. That's the answer here. But that's not gonna be faster, is it? No, not at all. He has poison. Hey, get poison again, buddy. Okay. Are you not poisoned? Gertie, get poisoned. Are you scared? Oh, you can only be one status effect at a time. That's right. You can only be scared or farted on. That's just how it is. I completely understand. Please have a nice day. Um, so yeah, overall, I was a decent fan of Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. If they actually just fleshed out their characters a little more, I, and maybe made Willy Wonka... I mean, yeah, flesh Willy Wonka out a little more too, I suppose. I, I absolutely would have loved it even more. Give Oompa Loompas their own spin-off? No, don't do that. Don't, don't, don't milk Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Oh, a super keep a meat boy. He leveled up for every other room, apparently. What's happening right now, at least. So, will I, would I recommend Charlie and the Chocolate Factory? I mean, I guess. I don't know. If you want to. Did I already see the shop? Hang on. Let's stand in a not bad spot. No, okay, there's still more I haven't explored. My bad. I thought we went everywhere. Oh, that was so close to being so stupid. <laughs> Uh, okay, that's the one prepared topic I had for the day. And, and I do kind of want to watch the, res the original, I almost called it a remake, I almost called it a sequel. I, I kind of want to watch the original. Uh, not immediately, because I just watched the first. The uh, remake, my brain doesn't work today, I apologize, my apologies. 
So I don't know. I, I gotta get Charlie Chocolate, Chocolate Factory not like present in my head like fully, so I can still have a little bit of like, oh yeah, this happens. When right now I just know literally everything. Okay, Fate's reward, sure. Uh, it costs a lot of money. I was never to know. Uh, I guess I mean Prep Throw is not gonna change the price, is it? It does. Okay, <laughs> still can't afford it. Okay, we don't talk about that. Did spiders come out when I hit that fire? Who knows? We don't talk about that, however, so we don't need to bring. It. Actually. This is pretty fog, isn't it? He's got a lick. <laughs> He's got a lick, baby. Okay, and you know, there's a lot of stuff we could grab. And I'm not trying to grab a whole lot, because I, I guess I'm still looking forward to this daily. It's kind of been nullified by the fact that we have TM Trainer like zero health. <laughs> so I'm just kind of cruising. This is the Charlie and the Chocolate Factory run. I oh got it. It just does make the question is this a good idea for a daily? The answer is no. Well, it's it's up in the air, I suppose. It's not no, it's not a hard no, but I mean, TM Trainer, it's never a great idea to necessarily take it. There's always ambiguity there. And I didn't know the reverse devil card carried between floors. I knew it was like on a timer. I, for some reason, I thought it ended on the floor though. I don't know why, I'm happy it's still going. Don't get me wrong, no complaints. Oh, it just ended, you're kidding me. I mean, oh, we have our Seer Mount right now or whatever. I don't know what that did. We're gonna keep with our attraction tractor ma. <laughs> I'd rather our tractor ma right now. Get that zero room fart charge. I feel like we haven't used the farts as much as we could have, aside from the spamming. <laughs> yeah, I know I use my farts too much in the spam uh, section of this daily that I no longer remember to use. I used up all my button clicks. I, I have a limited number of button clicks on my controller I can do per Isaac run. Would that be a good challenge? Probably not. Well, we have two headless babies. We could probably win with this creep in general. I mean, you can always win with the creep. Should I do a creep only, a far only challenge? Would those get views? I they could. I feel like they wouldn't unless the editing was beautiful and people expected the editing to be beautiful. You know what I mean, dude? I feel like I have another a video where I've talked about YouTube nonstop in a minute, which is probably for the best. Ground po. Let's use ground po in here. Okay, that's a room clearing kamikaze. Dude, bomb immunity, and I'm yours. We'll never know when we get bomb immunity. <laughs> But when I do, just just let me know. I'll go back for that. But the game's not gonna let me know because it's TM Trainer. Yes, die. Oh, you died by creep anyway. I think at least. No, oh, come back, come back, buddy. It was my fault. Um, I don't know why I went like um and thought that was so insane. Like I didn't know what to do there for a second because that was not a hard solution at all. <laughs> so I mean, we're in Necropolis One. We're going to Mom. So even if I don't live in this daily, I will be content. I'll be content. You know what? Because at the end of the day, winning isn't everything. You know what is everything? Getting the chocolate in the chocolate factory. Also, I I like to not eat at night. I, I, I have a hard limit for when I stop eating. There's no specific time. Uh, I, I just don't eat past dinner, however. So, I put on this movie at like probably 1 in the morning. And then immediately when the, when the opening credits were rolling... And I was watching all this chocolate get made. I was literally thinking to myself, this was not a good idea to watch this on an empty stomach. And it proved to be the case. I didn't cave. I toughed it out. But I actually considered turning the movie off. I was like, I'm actually just going to be hungry the entire movie. Think B. Okay. <laughs> okay, we're going back to Fart Town. Brother of Farty is what I'm calling this. So... I, I, but like seriously, you've been watching the chocolate get made. I haven't had chocolate in so long. I'm not even a huge chocolate head, but like, chocolate's still good. I'm, you know, I'm still human. I still like chocolate, guys. <laughs> um, and so I watching the credits, I was like, oh my fucking god. I was also questioning the logistics of how the chocolate was getting made because it's showing on like the most ridiculous, like Willy Wonka esque fucking. I mean, I guess it's Willy Wonka. Never mind. Uh, machines in the entire world, and I was like. There's no way chocolate is made like this. Also, I want to eat that shit. And then when they're in the fucking main room of the chocolate factory, and Willy Wonka goes, Oh, everything is edible. I was just like... I was mad. I didn't see the kids biting into things more often. Also, I'm actually unironically mad that every single time, I swear to God, besides that Augustus Gloop, aside from the fat kid, uh, which is not mean because that's literally his role. That's his only personality trait is that he's fat. Um, and they, they make fun of him in the movie too, so fuck it. Um, oh, creep works on him? I had no idea. That's how I want to kill him, if anything, to be honest. So, it, uh, 
every single time somebody bit a piece of a chocolate bar, they took the smallest bite I have ever fucking seen. I'm not even kidding when I tell you that it made me mad. It's I'm not mad because I saw it happen once. I'm mad because almost every time someone bit into a chocolate bar, that happened. What? This far hurts you? Oh, there's enemy creep. I couldn't see it because of my creep. Whatever. That's the, this is the video for you. That's stupid, in my opinion. Like, actually, we died for the same reason we died last time. I can't see red when there's red there. I can't see black when there's black there. This has been a problem for years. I don't expect it to be changed. Maybe it's just a me issue. But it happens to me kind of frequently. Maybe I don't have good color differentials. I feel like I do, but I just can't tell in this game sometimes. Especially when I'm passionate about Charlie and Chocolate Factory. I don't think I have much left to say on that. So that's the run. Very out of nowhere ending. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Uh, lesson learned. Fuck TM Trainer. No, I love it, but fuck it, you know? Uh, peace out. Happy Tuesday.